What's up everybody? My name is Sean. I'm a truck driver trainer here at Rosedale Transport. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the struggle that new truck drivers are facing here in 2024. It's not just this year. They've been facing it for years. And I want to expose to you what these new drivers are having to go through and how a lot of them are not going to make it and it's not necessarily their fault. So stick with this video all the way to the end. If you get some value from it, make sure you hit that like button. Let's get into it. Dead on a four wheelers, bud. Damn. Now this guy's being a nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be the one to get you out of the mud. So you finally get your CDL. And you all know it was stressful. You're trying to get it, you're out there and you're studying for the pre-trip test and you're having to pay all this money and you're probably not making the money because you're going through school and you're trying to get the back in and training your heart at you and you finally get it. You're excited, yeah, I got my CDL. Then all these trucking companies are calling you and it's very exciting because you're about to start on an adventure to go out there and actually take on a whole new career. And you know, average driver that comes to the trucking is probably in their 40s or 50s. There's some young ones, but there's some other ones that are doing life-changing careers. So they're a little nervous. They're excited. And that these companies call them and they're not prepared to be a truck driver because the CDL school, they didn't teach you everything. They taught you how to get the license, but they didn't make you a truck driver. And here's where I have a problem is then they leave there and they go to a company, which we should teach them. I'm a trainer here and I do my best. When they leave me, I guarantee you they know how to truck. They got it. You know what I mean? I take my time with them. And I believe trainers should do that. But the problem is, these companies, and not all of them, there is a lot of them. A lot of companies out there. I'm not putting no names out there. I'd love if you've had a bad experience to come on my show and talk about it. Uh, and we could do that. You can email me at truckinglifewithsean at gmail.com and I'll bring you on the show and we'll talk about it. Because I'm getting emails all the time about bad experiences with companies as a new driver. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that they, they bring you on, they put you with another new driver. When I say a new driver, driver's got like maybe a month experience, hasn't been driving that long. They put them out there to train and then they start running teams. One's sleeping while the other one's driving. You can't learn like that. And it's a bad experience. And then you're like, God, and you're, you're out there and you're, and you're pushed, you're pushed all because of money. They push you because that driver, that's how he makes his money. So he's having to push you and he's risking his life. You're risking your life and you're not learning anything and you make mistakes. And then people fall out of the truck driving career and they don't make it. Uh, and, and it's uh, sad that these companies, there's one company allegedly, is it allegedly, allegedly here. I've been told by several people that CR England is running three, two, one trainer and two students and they rotate drive and the truck never stops. I disagree with that. I believe that you should pull over every night and go to sleep, especially when you're training when you're new. If you was to come over to Rosedale Transport and you come to work here as a new driver, the way we train is we train you to be a truck driver. We pull over every night and we go to sleep. Get up, we go. When you're backing up, a lot of these trainers I see, man, they yell at drivers saying, turn left, turn right, right. You gotta let y'all make mistakes. I get out there, I let them back up. I don't tell them which way to go. I got them, but then I sit back. I don't let them hit nothing, but I let them, I take their time. Because at Rosedale, they pay as trainers to be a trainer, not to run teams. And used to back in the day before they had these schools, you would get grandfathered in. Your grandpa would teach you how to drive. Your uncle would teach you how to drive. But now it's because you go to the school and you pay them all this money and they're gonna push you through, push you through, push you through. And then you come out here and you're put with a trainer or they just push you through, push you through and get that money, 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 money. It's all about money. It shouldn't be that way. You should come with a company that's gonna teach you how to drive and teach you how to succeed in trucking. If you wanna to come to a good company, call the number at the bottom of the screen. The trainer's there. I'm the trainer trainer, so I go over the trainers here. Um, most of the trainers here, I actually trained over the years. so. We treat you with respect here. And, and I didn't make this video as a, as a commercial to come here. There's a lot of good companies out there. A lot of them. There's a lot of companies besides this Rosedale. But there's also a lot of bad ones. So make sure 
Make sure that you're doing your due diligence. Make sure that you're checking out these companies. And I'm not talking, I'm talking about some big name companies now. They might have great safety ratings. Don't have a great training program. And they may. But the way they train, I've heard horror stories. People calling me, leaving me messages saying, Sean, I was so scared to go over a mountain. Thank you for that video. My trainer was asleep. I couldn't get him up. Allegedly, this is happening a lot. Okay? I get 10 to 20 emails a day saying, Sean, thank you for this. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. I've been out here driving, I feel like a zombie. He's pushing me. I don't even know, I don't even know I'm in these cities, I'm scared. It's crazy. You shouldn't have to go through with it. And I'm ready to start calling these companies out. So that being said, if you are a trainer or trainee or a trainer that's being pushed like that, you'd like to come on this show, let's put them out there. The only way anything's going to get out there is if we talk the truth. The only thing we're going to change anything is putting the truth out there. And I'm not afraid to call these companies out. I'm not afraid. So if you want to talk about it on your channel, my channel, give me a call. TruckingLifeWithShawn at gmail.com. Email's right there. And we'll put these companies on blast. All right? If you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe right now i put out videos every day I'm trying to help you succeed Trust me. let's get it somebody out there say thank you jesus for the problems that you got you want to say thank you jesus for the weather when it's raining we need to say thank you for the rain reason why because that rain is helping us grow when you get thrown in the dirt you take a seed it gets thrown into the dirt right and then they have to bury it in the dirt Sometimes you may feel like you're getting buried in the dirt, but that's a seed that God's putting on you. He's going to let the sun come down, the water come down, so you can bloom into the tree that you need to be. I appreciate that, Gene. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate the super chat. But God is trying to mold you right now to what you're going through. He's trying to mold you, and he's trying to... Sometimes we got to get a little dirt on us. Y'all heard me say this before. A seed, if you take a regular seed and you throw it on the ground, and that's just going to grow. It's just going to get washed away and it's going to be gone. But if you throw that same seed on the ground and you put some dirt on it, you pack a little mud on it, you put a little fertilizer, and y'all know what fertilizer is, what? Fertilizer is crap. Let's just be honest. You put a little crap on it, then all of a sudden that seed's going to get that crap dirt all over it, that dirt, that water, that sun, and it's going to blossom into something. So whatever you're going through the day, whatever you're going through in your life, just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the manure that's being poured upon me today because that crap's going to make me grow. That that sun that's beating down on me is going to give me strength. That water that you're pouring on me is going to make me grow into what I need to be.